A few days ago, I was on Twitter and I ran across a tweet that seemed to contain an image of an official uh, Pennsylvania Department of Health website regarding a specific kind of, of COVID recommendation. My first thought was, it's got to be fake. I couldn't believe it. And I don't always trust, you know, what I see online. So I went to Google and I put in the text and sure enough, it took me to the site and it was an official Pennsylvania Department of Health, Health or whatever they call their health ministry there. Uh, this is Rachel Levine's operation. And there it was. And I was completely floored. Little background. On December 12th, the state of Pennsylvania adopted new COVID restrictions as this third wave gathers uh, steam. No indoor dining. You can have outdoor dining. Now, of course, as I record this in Philadelphia, it's I checked, it's uh, in the mid to high 20s and there's several inches of snow on the ground. So I don't think people are going to be doing a lot of outdoor dining over the Christmas season uh, with weather below freezing. But who knows? I mean, Pennsylvanians are a hardy bunch. Maybe they'll still venture out and eat outside. Uh, theaters are closed. Movies are closed. Uh, uh, sports are restricted. Some sports are actually shut down at the, the lower levels of the school systems. Uh, churches are open, but that's because of a court case. They if they could, they probably close them too. Gyms are closed. Uh, even though, according to the statistics, tracing statistics in New York State, they account for like 1.2% of COVID cases. Over 73% of COVID cases are picked up in your own home. But, you know, gyms, gyms are too dangerous. They have to be closed. So that's sort of the background of the current restrictions in Pennsylvania. And this brings us to this latest directive from Pennsylvania. And I'm going to read it because I don't want to be accused of getting anything wrong here. So just, just stick with me here. Okay. Large gatherings are not safe during COVID-19. But if you attend a large gathering where you might end up having sex, below are tips to reduce your risk of spreading or getting COVID-19 through sex. Now, you can't go to a gym. That would be too unhealthy. But you can go to a large gathering where you might have sex. What is a large gathering where you might have sex? Uh, I guess you could say it's a party. Maybe you pick up somebody and you have sex there. I don't know. I guess that happens. I, uh, if I can think of times that happened when I was young. But, I mean, you're not supposed to have large gatherings anyway. I think gatherings have to be under 10 people. I don't know how they define large. They don't define large here. So if you have 11 people at a Christmas party, you're violating state law. There's no number given here for large gatherings where you may have sex. So I think the key here is, if you're thinking about having a Christmas dinner, tell everybody to be prepared to have sex. Now, they don't have actually have to have sex. They only have to be prepared to have sex. I don't know what that means. Exactly. But to me, when I think large gathering where you might have sex, I think orgy. You know, a good old-fashioned Roman-style orgy. But that apparently is okay. You can't go to the gym. You can't go to the movies. You can't play, you know, high school football. But you can go to an orgy. That's okay. <laughs> what really struck me is in all the directions of things that you're supposed to do at, at the orgy or this large gathering where you might have sex, you have to keep your mask on. <laughs> I, you know, my guess is people who are going to large gatherings to have sex are by definition not particularly worried about the possibility of contracting disease. And I should add that nowhere in this directive from the state of Pennsylvania does it advise that you should, you know, wear a condom or wear protection of some kind to protect you from other diseases. I mean, it's not as if COVID-19 is the only thing out there that can get you. 
you know, we do have virulent strains of STDs floating around. And there's always HIV. You know, you can pick up AIDS if you have unprotected sex. But that's not in there. I mean, that's not in there. I wonder what the mortality rate of, of AIDS is compared to uh, COVID-19. I really don't know. Maybe somebody will look that up. But it, I, this is just like, it, you know, I, I can't go to the gym to work out by myself, but I can go to an orgy as long as I wear a mask. Well, actually, it doesn't say you have to wear a mask. It recommends that you wear a mask. So you, you can go to an orgy without a mask, without a condom. And that's okay, according to the state of Pennsylvania. But damn, don't dare go to a gym. Don't expect to get into the movies. Don't expect to eat inside where it's warm. You have to eat outside where it's in the 20s and there's like, you know, somewhere close to a foot of snow on the ground. <laughs> That's okay. But the you know, orgies, orgies are just fine. And what I would love to know is where exactly is the science behind this? We're always talking about, you know, we have to follow the science. You know, Trump does Trump doesn't follow science, whereas Joe Biden believes in science. Now, of course, as soon as you say you believe in science, then that throws the whole thing out because science isn't a belief system. It's supposed to be science. Belief systems are religion. But in some ways, I think progressives have turned science into a religion and a religion that allows you to do basically whatever you want with regard to restrictions on the public. I mean, this, this doesn't this just doesn't make any sense. You know, wh why is, is an orgy an essential activity? Dining in is, isn't? An orgy is essential activity that has to be allowed, but going to a gym is non-essential? I mean, what's more important to an individual to work out at the gym and stay healthy? And have a, a, a you know virul a strong immune system so you can avoid getting COVID nineteen or succumbing to it if you do catch it, or going to an orgy. I mean, what what are the, the benefits to the state or to one's health of going to an orgy? Well, I guess you know you get better, relaxed, release some steam. I don't know, maintain your chi. Uh, but but I mean, where's this? I would like to know. I would like Rachel Levine to come out and say, okay, here's the science for this recommendation. This is how we came to this decision. How can anybody think that this is based on science and not politics? The politics of progressives. I mean, who goes to orgies? Who goes to large gatherings where you have sex? But this is what's passing for science in this pandemic. This is what it's come to. And this is why people are getting fed up why people aren't buying this crap anymore, and why people are starting to protest. And the longer this goes on, and the longer this kind of crap, this nonsensical restrictions that they, they put on us goes on, it's just going to get worse. You know, people are, are going to just turn on government intellectually. It goes on long enough with force. I don't know. I don't know where this ends up. But this kind of garbage, and it is, it's garbage. I mean, to shut down gyms, to shut down indoor dining over the holidays, to tell the churches, the synagogues, the mosques, the temples to watch what they do and to restrict, you know, what they do over the holidays. But to tell people it's all right to go to an orgy, but we recommend, we don't, we don't insist, we recommend that you wear a mask and you we don't even remind you to bring a condom if you're a, a male. Or maybe that would imply identification or some other problem there that I don't understand. That's what I think. I'd love to see your comments on this one. And I will link uh, the, to this uh, Department of uh, Health Pennsylvania uh, website so you can go to it and see for yourself if you don't believe me. Uh, but if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you can. Hit the notification button so you know when I post new videos. Share the video with your friends. And until the next time, keep fighting. And you're probably well advised to avoid orgies over the holidays because people may not be wearing masks.